You're watching the diary of Siobhan. We're now at the depot. It's a rehearsal studio. We're just gonna. We've got a gig tomorrow and Thursday, so we've got a bit of rehearsing to do. My God, there's never been so many people in here. I do come from a musical family. When we go to weddings and stuff, everyone gets up and has a sing song. Oh, you've even been shopping. I'm kind of the first one in the family to do it professionally. I went and bought a single in MTV, and oh, I got you. Um, Buster Rhymes and Mariah Carey on vinyl. So we're just gonna do some rehearsing and stuff like that. We've just done um, interviews for News Round Showbiz for CBBC. Yeah, apparently you were gonna jump it all in. Uh, when I left the shoe waves, I didn't think I wasn't gonna do music again. I don't mind doing interviews. It's not, it isn't the best part of my job. I'm supposed to be rehearsing today. <laughs> the worst question I get asked. So, why did you leave the shoe waves? <laughs> I just think that I've clarified it all now and I can't be bothered to talk about it anymore. I enjoy singing songs that I've been involved with the writing with. It just feels more like it's from the heart and you're more enthusiastic about it when you go out to sing it live because you're really proud of it. <laughs> writing songs, it's kind of, some days it's easy, some days it's hard. I kind of had a lot to talk about when I left the Sugar Babes, so that helped. <laughs> and uh, I was at, not even talking about the girls, kind of a lot, a lot was going on in my life. There's only one relationship song on the album. We kind of made a point to stay away from relationship songs. Um, there's a song about Christmas turkeys. <laughs> we talk about how appallingly sort of turkeys are treated at Christmas. I did co-write all the songs on the album. I co-wrote them with Cameron McVeigh and his son, Marlon McVeigh. I mean, it's all about the team you have around you. Obviously, I'm 19 now and I've sort of grown up a little bit, but um, I think I'm a lot happier person and I'm more focused on what I want to do with my life. I come down to Potwell today to put, do a performance for them. God, it's like refrigerator and lightning. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Hiya. It was my decision to have my sister as my makeup artist. She's a makeup artist in her own right, but um, I'd never, I'd never been able to have her as mine before. She's really great. She knows what I want, and we've practically got the same face, so it's very easy for her. <laughs> I can tell her if I don't like it, <laughs> and it doesn't upset her. excited about performing overrated live it's sort of you've got to do lots of interviews and lots of um, promo and stuff but I mean doing it live is what we do it for and I mean even when it's a TV and, and not a gig um, you're still singing live and it's it's still fun so they're the kind of things that you can look forward to Now's a wrap, everyone. Let's go get some bagels. Yes. <laughs> TV. We've just done the performance with Pop World and come up and I've got changed because now I'm going to go down and do the interview. So my stylist, Neil. Hello, everyone. I do have a stylist, but he's, he's kind of my mate, really, and we go out, we go out shopping together and he's really great. He's my friend first and foremost, so he really appreciates what I want to wear and I do have my own style and for a lot of the stuff, like the, the live stuff we do, I usually just go and wear whatever I want to wear, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. It's not really styled, is it? It's just, you know, my jeans and my trainers most of the time. Neil doesn't do high street. <laughs> Neil doesn't do cheap clothes. I don't mind wearing a bit of high street, but when, when Neil's shopping for us, it's a strictly designer. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I don't really prepare for interviews. Sometimes I do get a bit nervous, but I think that's only because I haven't done anything like this for, you know, over a year and a half and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. Hello there, welcome back to the show. They're already falling, not as good as last week's. I try not to take myself too seriously, so, I mean, if I say the wrong thing in an interview, you know, 
never mind, it's sort of there today and forgotten tomorrow. My favourite thing is being in the, in the studio and making the tunes, I just love that. Can you find the words to say that I hate you? It's not an easy thing to say. But uh, doing it live, it's just such a brilliant feeling and just makes me really love my job. <laughs> What makes me nervous is that hour before we go on stage. That is just, it is just the worst thing in the world. And, and then if you're supposed to be on at 10, if someone tells you that you've got to wait another 10 minutes, that's the worst time in the world. You just want to go on and do it then. You know, it's got to that point where you just have to go up and do it. Again, thanks for coming. It's a great turnout. out. you really pleased about. First gig that we've headlined, so cheers for coming. This is my job, gets me up in the morning. For years and years I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was doing singing because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with my life and I feel now that it, it is what I want to do with my life and I'm quite positive about that and I enjoy it and I love my band and it's great to be content and not be able to pick fault with, with your job. next for me. Hopefully we'll get more live gigs in and hopefully a lot more of what's going on now because I'm having a great time. Thanks for watching my diary. See ya. We're going to go off and get some drinks. Now it's fine, isn't it?